Good morning once again. This morning we will be in the scripture text in the book of Mark, chapter 11, beginning in verse 1, commencing in verse 11. In a sermon titled, The Lord Has Need of It. The Word of God. Out of the NIV. And as they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you. And just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord needs it and we'll send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at the doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, what are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything. But since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let me pray. Lord, I ask you to fill this space with the Holy Spirit and let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, my rock and my redeemer. So we've been in a series titled Journey to the Cross. For me, it's been groundbreaking every week. So the first part of the journey to the cross began Right when Lent began, when Jesus went out and was baptized and then immediately went out to the wilderness, was tempted by the evil one. We then learn that Jesus sat down his disciples about two and a half years into his ministry and told them that he was going to have to die and suffer for glory. And by doing that, we must take up our own cross. After that, we learned that Jesus went to the temple courts and cleansed the temple. Now, I just read, this is the second time he's going to do it. He's getting ready to do it. This is the first time when we brought it up in the third week. Now, what was groundbreaking about that is we learned about how Jesus cleansed the temple. The metaphor there is that we need to cleanse our personal temple as we are temples of the Holy Spirit. Then we learned... John 3 16 the very next week that for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life but the very important thing that we need to know there is that we must believe we have to believe and we will be with the son of man for eternity last week we learned that if we want to see Jesus we must be like a seed and die and be buried and then as the outer core the seed withers the inner core grows and shoots up and creates glory that will last forever but it was very hard to learn that, that jesus is telling this parable that he must die because this, the disciples were not ready for this they wanted a, a glorifying king that would come in and free them from the bondage to be a general to be a soldier but jesus came back to serve and so if we know that we too must be like a seed and be buried and be born again we too can become fresh and new like jesus told in that seed parable 